Excel actually you will learn how to integrate your Selenium tests with Team City. That is continuous integration server. So Team City is very popular continuous integration server, which I have already installed on my system. And you can also go ahead and install the Team City uh, from the JetBrains uh, website. So JetBrains is the company which has developed this Team City server. So you can uh, go ahead and download that uh, server. It is free of cost for the community edition and once you install that uh, you can access that uh, using the url like this one i have changed the port to uh, double eight double eight but uh, by default it may be a different port so once you open this particular interface that actually server runs on the uh, specific port uh, just like an http server and i have already installed that and i can access that particular server uh, by going to this particular url and uh, you may want to uh, also uh, install the build agent but uh, the team city server acts as the build agent as well so you do not need to install the build agent separately if you are working on your own machine but in an organization uh, what happens is there is a server a separate machine uh, for the ci server and there are build agents say four or five build agents are there so whenever the server gets the build request the team city server will select one of the build agents idle build agents and then ask that build agent to execute the selenium tests and then results are pushed back to the server so in this particular lecture you will learn how to set up the project in team city i'm not going to cover how to install the team city and all that stuff i'm assuming that you have got access to the team city server web interface and from there on uh, how you can set up the selenium build that i am going to cover so for that you need to have the admin access uh, on your team city server or the special uh, permissions to set up the build because not all users can set up the build uh, in team city so assuming that you have got those uh, permissions uh, go ahead and start the team city server so here you can see that team city is being initializing and till then let us wait so meanwhile i'll ask uh, explain you uh, how you can clone the repository so in the last lecture uh, we have seen how to push the project into github this is selenium project and to clone or download this project you can click on this button and you can uh, clone it using https or the ssh there are two protocols in https you will have to enter the username and password but in ssh once you set up the keys you don't need to uh, use the password enter the password file accessing this uh, repository so you can use any of these methods so what happens is uh, when you create a build in uh, a project in a team city server it accesses the repository from this url they executes the tasks like uh, since this project is built on the maven build management system we will be using maven task in our team city server to execute the tests from the project after the repository is downloaded as you can see this uh, team city server is up and running and then uh, to create the project you have to click on this small icon over there then you can go to administration you can see that there is one build agent over there up and running and on this screen in administration projects uh, you can create a project or create a project from the url so this is very uh, easy way to create the project from the url all you have to do is just give the git url and then it will uh, create the project out of that so i'm gonna uh, explain you the simplest way to create the project then over there uh, you can uh, parent project uh, you can keep it as a root project repository url now here you have to give the repository url so you can uh, use this https if you want Then click on proceed you have to give the username and password for the github account then it will check the credentials then and uh, download that repository on your team city server here it is accepting the selenium project then build configuration name uh, you can put here maven build suppose one selenium project one and this is the git repository url then click on proceed so it's really simple uh, interface to create the project from the team city i just love the team city because 
I have also worked with the bamboo, but I find this team city really really user friendly so it automatically scans the uh, repository files and then finds out uh, the build steps as well since our project is maven uh, team city is intelligent enough to know that this project is maven and then uh, it will add the maven step for this project so this is uh, now in the build configuration settings step where they, we can have uh, this many configuration like general settings you can do version control settings where we specify the git repository or the any version control repository url which we have already given and uh, right now it is detecting the build steps so it automatically finds out which build steps are suitable for your project and most probably it is gonna select maven test as you can see it is found this build step as maven and then you can click on use selected to use that particular step so you don't need to do anything it is all uh, doing automatically and uh, number of build configuration can soon reach maximum 20 all right so this is trial version so i'm not i cannot use uh, build configurations more than 20 that is the limitation so anyways we can now go ahead and execute this particular build configuration so here you can notice that there is one build step maven and then goal is clean test so this is the maven goal which we have already seen like there are different maven goals so to execute the selenium tests you need to use this particular goal clean test or if you want to uh, execute test from specific class as we have already seen in previous lectures you can use the d test parameter and then give the class name all right the build step is also given and you can run the build by clicking on this button so now what will happen is uh, this team city will go ahead and then execute the particular tests on the server and uh, you need to ensure that on the build agent you have got the all the selenium web driver setup for example you should have uh, this maven installer then you should have jdk install on your build agent so all the necessary things like selenium web driver exe all those files should be available on your build agent and they should match your project settings configuration settings so if all is fine what will happen is it will go ahead and then start building the project in the build log you can view what all tasks it is executing so as you can see uh, it is collecting the changes in the vcs route so it is downloading that repository and now it is executing the step one so as you can see we had ex uh, configured one step that is maven step and it is running that maven step now here it is also showing the path of the agent now it is starting scanning the project so it is actually executing the maven goal that is test clean test It is downloading those maven plugins and all that stuff that it requires to build the maven it's installing the chain it uh, dependencies and all that stuff so what happens is that it downloads everything and then start the execution so only uh, important thing that you need to uh, remember while integrating with the team city server is that the paths of the that you use in your project uh, should match the build agent path so for example if you are using say a web driver exe then that path should be a relative path uh, so uh, with respect to your project because if the paths are uh, different then it will uh, not find those required files and then build will fail so this will happen for the first time because uh, these files are not there on the build agent so it is going and then downloading all those files or the jar library dependency libraries in the maven repository and then it will start the execution after that so it is starting executing this uh, clean goal and after the clean goal it will execute the resources goal after the resources goal it is gonna execute the compile goal and then finally it will execute the test goal so you can see that a compiler plugin is executing the compile goal and it is compiling one source file then it is uh, executing test compile goal so come to compile the test resources or the test files and after this it will execute the test goal as you can see the test goal is started and 
for test goal it requires surefire plugin so it is going and downloading that surefire plugin so all this download thing will happen only once in the beginning of your uh, project because in the initially uh, it needs those particular files so but once it is downloaded it will not next time go ahead and download those files so you can see that now tests are executing and uh, there is one error it is showing that driver executable does not exist so as i said you should ensure that your paths are correct so it is executing the next uh, test in that so you can uh, write you can uh, configure the build in such a way that uh, build should uh, stop if the even one test fails but this build is configured in such a way that it is gonna so as you can see the execution is happening and it is just uh, running those tests So on the main project window you will see these details of that particular build how many tests failed how many passed and you can also stop the build if you want you can look at the change logs from here you can look at the statistics problems investigations over there you can edit the project settings from here so that is how you can team city thanks for watching this video